Okay, fellers, what's what's going on? So, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the fuck's happening. It's been almost a year since I recorded this, so. <laughs> um, slowly but surely, I was adjusting to these mornings without Yuri. I guess she's dead now? I don't fucking know. Strangely enough, because I could still see Yuri, I didn't feel lonely. Oni-chan, good morning. Morning. I should be able to come home from Sarah Chan's place very soon. Oh, really? Is it okay if I come back? Of course. Yuri was there too, though. Knowing Sharon, it might not take her long to get used to her. By the way, Yuri Chan has not come to school for some time now. Do you know what is going on, Oni Chan? I have no idea either. I went to visit her at home, but she would not come out to see me. I really do not know anything, Oni-chan. I had a good guess, but it wasn't something I could tell her. She wouldn't reply when I messaged her either. Could you try getting in touch with her for me too, Sharon? Understood. Oh, Oni-chan, are you tired? For some reason, you don't look very lively. We've got a lot of tests coming up, that's all. Is that what it is? Please, give it everything you have. Thanks, Sharon. But it appears Yuri hadn't confided in anything in Sharon whatsoever. That was for the best. This was between us. I didn't want to cause Sharon to worry on top of everything else. Ooh, I'm back. Welcome home. Here he came to welcome me with a huge smile. It was the usual routine, but for me, it was different. Shun, let's play a game together again. I'll make sure to go easy on you this time. Sure. Or maybe you'd rather watch TV. You just got back from school, so I'd bet you'd like to relax. Yeah. Shunt. <clears throat> Being with Yuri was fun. At least it was supposed to be. After it became afflicted with amnesia, Yuri was the one who supported me through my time of adversity. Oh yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> Shun, what's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Even after Yuri's visit, Yuri hadn't changed in the slightest. I'm gonna head out for a little bit. Shopping? Can I go with you? Don't worry about it. I'll be back in no time. I see. Shun, you don't hate me now, do you? Because you lost when we played games? Her expression made a sudden 180 as she tried to figure out what I was feeling. <laughs> yes, definitely. I 1000% just hate you just because I lost. It's something like that. Wait. Wait here at home for me. Got it. Have a safe trip. See you next fall. <laughs> Yuri waved to me with a smile. She wasn't being selfish. With a heavy mist still in my heart, I left her behind and rushed out of the house. Oh. Goodness. Yuri. I reminisced about her as I, gla I glazed. <laughs> as I gazed out at the ocean. Was I truly in love with Yuri? What is love? Anyway. Oh, what the fuck? Hello. After I became afflicted with amnesia, Yuri was the one who supported me through my time of adversity. She would flash me a smile whenever I needed it. And I had fallen in love with her for it. Somewhere along the way, I learned that she had an incurable illness. I didn't want to watch her suffer. I wanted to see her smile. That was why I tried to support her, just as she had helped me. If only, if only Yuri had never gotten sick. I decided to date her, feeling that didn't matter. In reality, though, I wasn't prepared for what was to come. Deep down in my heart, I dreamed of a world in which a happy and healthy Yuri was there for me. I believed that a miracle might occur. I was often prone 
to dreaming up these convenient fantasies, fantasies in my head, and she would lose her patience with me. She had to beat into me countless times that it was hopeless, right up until it had driven her into a state of constant despair. This was simplistic and kind of cliche to say, but this was my fault for pouring salt into her wounds. I was a total idiot. Shun? I spun around with surprise at that unexpected voice. Hanako, senpai? Why are you out here so late? I popped into Yuri's place for a quick visit. She's been dodging my calls and bunking off for a while now. <laughs> oh, this is the Irish lady. <laughs> That's who it was. Did you see her? No, she wouldn't open the door. So she did. For not replying to either Shrone or Hanako, senpai, likely meant she refused to see anyone. Did something happen between you? Sort of. Sorry to have worried about or worried you. God damn it. Don't worry about it. Sometimes spouses go through tussles every now and then. We aren't married. Yuri was always such a fussy girl. Not to me. She's honest and kind. No, none. Even a looker on like myself can tell she's carrying a heavy burden. Even though she'd never told her about her terminal illness, Hanako Senpai could sense something was amiss and was there for her. I have no right to be there at Yuri's side. <clears throat> Why? Do you need some sort of qualification in this country to love and get close to someone? Nothing like that. It's just I'm better off staying away from her if all I'm going to do is hurt her. Giving Yuri space was the one and only thing I could do for her. As sad as it was, I'd, I'd started thinking that way. Is that what she said? That she doesn't want to be around you anymore? Well, something like that. And... Don't tell me I actually believe that's how she really feels. I knew it wasn't true. Part of me just hoped that it was. <laughs> We're all human and everyone can get emotional every now and then. Sometimes we bottle our feelings up and lie. Because we're human. I. However, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't want I don't want to get too preachy, so it's high time I be off. So Shun, do you make sure not to become a delinquent yourself? Right because we're human. <clears throat> that comment pierced straight through to my heart. Yuri and Yuri were very similar. She was created from Yuri's memory data, so that was obvious. Still, they were different. Yuri was virtual and unaffected by illness. If Yuri were healthy, would she be identical to Yuri? No, that wasn't it either. Being with Yuri was comfortable, but somehow it was different from the time I spent with Yuri. <laughs> I never got into fights with Yuri. She would always agree with everything I said. No matter when, she would be there for me with a smile. Yuri would always say whatever I wanted to hear and be considerate of me in any way she thought I would desire. Yuri is... I had told Yuri that I loved Yuri's smile. That was why she would smile for me at any time. As long as I wish for it. Yuri would change herself exactly to my specifications. As long as it didn't violate the three laws of androids. Yuri's personality would bend to my every request. And I was sure she would continue to change to conform to my every wish furthermore. I get it. Yuri is an illusionary Yuri that I created. That was why I had fallen in love with her. She was a custom-made girlfriend perfectly tuned with me in every way. There was no need for me to put in any, any effort. She would agree with me completely and without question. Never needing to try to understand each other. <laughs> she submits to every will. She would understand me completely even if we never had a single conversation. Why did she understand? That answer was now clear to me. That's why this is all wrong. It wasn't Yuri.
Welcome back, Shun. Shun? What's wrong? You've got a scary look on your face. Yuri... I... Hey, Shun. I have a request. Would you hear me out? You know... I'm gonna be brave and say it. Would you, would you make my make bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> would you make me your grill friend her request rendered me speechless then again a part of me had an inkling that this would happen eventually one day here he's going to die and leave us when that happens I know you'll mourn for her so if I become your grill friend you'll be able to smile instead if you choose me, I'll never make you cry. So please, make me your girlfriend. Yuri. I am Yuri, okay? So what, what would it hurt if I'm your girlfriend? You're wrong. Why? You've got it all wrong, Yuri. You're you, you're not Yuri. I finally get it now. Your expression was a mix of surprise and distress. Yeah, you're right. I more or less knew that, that Yuri and I are different. She continued to, continued to speak, practically at a whisper. I am positive we were the same at first. But then I changed. Yeah. As I spent more time alone with you, I deviated from Yuri more and more. Then the longer we were together, the more deeply I fell in love with you funny, huh? Considering I'm a being who was created solely to be Yuri's replacement. It really makes me wonder who I truly am. I've wondered that for a while now. Yuri, I have no body. I can't touch you, much less do anything for you. Or so I thought, but you always looked really happy around me. I was ecstatic. Yeah, thank you. I'm an android Sarah created, so I can't act in any way that violates the three laws. But, that doesn't mean I'm any different from a human being. My desire not to hurt you is one of my own free will. I don't want to hurt the person I love. It's with my own will that I accept you, Shun. Not because it's programmed into me. Because I love you and I don't want to see you be upset. Siri was so affectionate and was always thinking of my best interests. However, that was wrong. Yuri's going to become even more emotionally unstable going forward. Even if she does undergo treatment, it's an uphill battle. And I'm also sure that she'll take out all of her frustrations on you. But what about you, Shun? You can't tell anyone how you feel since Yuri has kept her illness a secret. I'm worried about what will happen. I know just how sad you'll be when that time comes. If I were me, or if it were me, I, <laughs> if I were me, <laughs> if it were me, I could support you. I could be everything you've always wanted. I'll never get sick and can be there for you forever and ever. So, she held her intangible hand out to me. I want to be with you, Shin. She gazed at me with watery eyes. I know everything about Yuri, both her good and bad side. I was born from her image. So I'll continue to support you and be there by your side anytime you need me. Is that wrong? I was grateful she felt that way, but this did feel wrong to me. After listening closely to everything she had to say, I tried to figure out what I wanted to do. There's nothing bad about what we're doing. We don't have to tell Yuri about any of this. I know that would be the best possible approach. I don't mind if it's only for five minutes before you go to sleep. Come see me, okay? If you do, then I just know I'll be able to help you through these tough times. Ask me whatever you want and you can tell me anything to your heart's content. Five short minutes. If I want to see Yuri, I could overcome all the suffering that was there, that was soon to come. 
Say, Shun, why don't we support Yuri together? Let's watch over her tenderly during the limited time she has left. Should I use Yuri just so she could comfort me in these tiring times? That won't work, Yuri. I'm sorry. Shun, I believe that this is a problem between me and Yuri. We need to confront our own problems together. Up until now, I've been running away to you. Since you were always there to smile for me. Yuri's warm smile. I was drawn toward it and could escape to a world without hardship. What do you find so horrible about it? What's most important, whether times are tough or you're suffering, is to bear with it and live your life. I need to make my own decisions about my own life. In my darkest hour, God damn it! In my darkest hour, Yuri had been there to help me after I lost my memory. In the course of our lives, there will always be something painful that makes us want to divert our eyes. To be alive means we need to overcome those, those moments and move forward. I want to save Yuri. I want to help her smile, even if it's just a little, to help her live her life. Even if you do, Yuri will die someday. Cause we'll be all alone in the world. If it were me, I wouldn't leave you alone. I may be protection now, but if it's what you wish for, then someday I might be able to get a physical body of my own, like Sharon. Even then, you'd be you. You can't become Yuri. You're not ill. Not even you can understand how Yuri feels. I know that. I'm Yuri, not Yuri. No, you're not Yuri either. Huh? Why had I fallen in love with Yuri? It was then that I finally found my answer. At this point in time, I could say this. Yuri, you are me. What? You can't hurt me. You agree with anything I say and accept all my weaknesses. You spoil and accept me, unable to reject me in any way. Everything is according to my will and makes for a comforting environment. And what's wrong with that? You say this all according to your own will, but I don't think that's true. For example, Yuri would accept me even if I did something truly horrendous. She was like that little devil that sat on your shoulder. Your will is my will. That isn't true. As a result, I've been depending upon myself trying to run away from Yuri. If it were me, I could understand you. Are you telling me that's wrong? Yeah, I am. Having someone understand absolutely everything all of the time is boring. What do you mean? I don't understand Yuri at all. I gave some thought to why I loved Yuri. She was kind, direct, and considered me above all else. She kept the truth to herself, saying she didn't want to cause anyone, everyone grief. I had so much fun when I was with her. We would get angry and cry, fr fright, <laughs> cry, fright, cry, fight. When she smiled for me, it made me incredibly happy. But it's because I don't understand everything that makes me want to learn. Blah, blah, blah. But it's because I don't understand everything that makes me want to learn more and to try and better to understand her. Since nothing goes the way I'd like it to, we have these serious conversations and I try to figure out how she feels. There are times where I can't even begin to figure out what's going through her head and I'll ask for other people's advice when that happens. Humans are designed to be ridiculously troublesome. But I've come to kind of love that about people. That's why going forward, I need to understand Yuri on my own. That's what it means to create a future together. Yuri closed her eyes for a short while and fell deep into thought. Then her expression changed instantaneously as if she'd come to realization. I see. I tried so hard not to be an android, but it looks like I am one after all. I'm sorry? Uh-uh. It makes me believe you're the person I fell for. Thank you, Shun. Her eyes glistened as she gazed straight at me. I felt relieved to know she would still be there for me. Do you think I can ask? For one last selfish request? Sure. Would you kiss me? 
as I gazed in her, I thought this said thirsty, or misty eyes, I could tell Yuri knew that this was goodbye. Did you love me? Yeah, you taught me what's most important. Even though you're virtual and have no body, our emotional connection is precious. Yeah. Shen? I love you. I kissed her untouchable lips. Yuri closed her eyes. It was a long, quiet kiss. I looked back on the days I had spent with her and conveyed those grateful feelings from deep within my heart. I did love you. There most definitely existed a time when that was true. And you taught me the most important thing of all. I love Yuri. It was for that very reason that I wanted to treasure and live my life together with her. Even if it had different opinions, I wanted to spend time with her and talk things out. We would learn more and more and have a better understanding of one another. Shen. With her intangible body ever so gently, Yuri hugged me close. You should go to her. She's weak, you know. Yeah. I'm sure you have a difficult journey ahead of you, but I will always be here. Praying for your happiness. Thank you, Yuri. Yuri's time was infinite. Without adopting Yuri's memory, she would never change. I was sure she would continue to exist in an unseen world eternally unaltered. Goodbye. I cut her power. She gone. Thank you. Yuri vanished. My room is completely deserted, the same as it ever was. Yuri was gone now. Every day had been so much fun with her, but it was nothing more than an illusion. Okay, so that's the end of this episode, boyos. First episode back in like a year, but maybe we'll play some more of this. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to play a lot of games, recording-wise anyway, but I've been trying. Uh, peace.